Good morning. So as you can see in my last video, the rainy day in my garden, the slugs is really eating my king cabbage. So it's like their favorite meal. So I'm getting tired of it, picking them every day. So I want my king cabbage back. So what I have to do with this is actually making it into kimchi. I feel so sleepy this morning so I just really needed a cup of coffee before going out in my garden. I've seen these beautiful flowers. I need a cameraman but my cameraman is inside because he's watching the baby. So I'm going to harvest my king cabbage because like just the slug is eating it. I know I don't like touching slugs. It's not my favorite. Ah. It's not my favorite thing to pick them. So yeah, I'm going to harvest my my king cabbage. Actually, look how big is it. That's how big the king cabbage is. Maybe uh, this one, I will harvest this one too. Like, so it's just like my tomatoes have space to grow in here. So it's like this black one, right? I'm gonna harvest it. Oops. My tomatoes. Yes. And I'll just take the soil out from this king cabbage that I just harvested. So I need onions. I'm gonna get some onions from here. Oh, okay. I have to dig it. It's very deep. I think it's like a mini onion. Yeah. I need more. Harvest this one too. It's just too near on my pole beans, so I have to harvest it, I think. Yeah, in this one too. <laughs> So I've got three of garlic in here as well. I have to take it. Look, my garlic. It's already. So I'm gonna put some garlic and my kimchi as well. I'll add mint too, a little bit. And my turban spice. You know, I like experimenting in my recipes. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna add some turban and mint. And my kimchi. So yeah, it's just so nice outside in the morning in here. Yeah, lots to work on still though. But yeah, I like my tomatoes so much. I'm going to pick some Swiss chards. Alright. Looks mm. nice, nice, nice. Oh, maybe I'll, I'll want like a red one. I like the red one to give color in my kimchi. So, yeah. We'll check it out. So. Now I have to wash my vegetables and I found this slug. So really slug, you can't be in my kimchi salad. I'm really sorry. I have to really wash you and put you back in my backyard. But don't go back in my garden, okay? A 
after I wash my vegetables thoroughly, especially my king cabbage, I'm going to separate it by pieces or cut it in half to make sure it will soak properly in a salty water. So this process is called brining or pickling the vegetables. It also helps sanitize my vegetables especially it's been eaten by the slugs right it looks like uh people don't want to eat this but for to save my king my king cabbage i will put salt in a bowl like one and a half cup of salt to help it uh sanitize or make it crispy and saltier and also uh tasty and preserve my king cabbage as well so this time i also added swiss chard, which is a new to my recipe and also it's my first time to make uh, kimchi i'm looking forward for this recipe i have i'm so excited and i have to convince my husband to try my kimchi because he saw a slug on it he kind of hesitant to eat it but we'll see so i will soak it for at least four to eight hours and then add some other ingredients like onions garlic green onions and chili powder and also i will add some sriracha in it and all of my spices is just uh in our house so i don't have to buy it so just look vinegar as well i will add vinegar and don't forget the vinegar it's very important I did prepare a Father's Day lunch meal for my husband before going to work. As you see, I added a kimchi out of it. So, as a salad, I and he said he likes it, especially a little bit spicy and sweet. Thank you so much for watching.